Once upon a time, in the small Italian town of Bologna Salami, Hey, buongiorno! Hey, what are you doing? There lived a lonely toy maker named Gelato. Just because I talk to toys doesn't make me lonely. Besides, I've got ducks! <laughs> and his assistant, Cricket. I am not a cricket! His assistant named Cricket. I am a caterpillar! Well, that is only half true. Kind and honest Gelato was never married, so he had no children he could call his own. I call this one. Uh, that's not a child. Oh. His three beloved brothers were mysteriously lost at sea while delivering meatballs to the small island of Boyardee. <laughs> so Gelato poured all of his loneliness and love into the toys he carved for the joy of others. One of the toys, a wooden duck, was so realistic a family of motherless ducklings followed it home. Gelato loved the ducks like they were his own children. Oh, how he loved to teach them, and oh, how they loved to listen. He taught them about right and wrong, responsibility, honesty, and monopoly. Greg is fascinated with real estate. Cricket was glad Gelato was happier, even though ducks made him nervous. They eat caterpillars! Well, good thing you're a cricket. I have got to change my name. And so the ducklings listened closely as Gelato taught them everything they needed to know. Look at little Liliana as her mother shows her how to gather breakfast from a chicken or make milkshakes from a cow. Even Steven's struggling papa taught him when to take a bow. Nothing's missing cause they listen when their parents taught them how. A mother and a father know the ways to live life right. So listen little children and your days will turn. Pistachio tree. Very special. Well, at least you could let me pay you a little something, Parcheesy. Parcheesy? No need to pay! It's all yours! Hmm. Something smells fishy. No, it smells like pistachios. Hooray! A bonus piece of wood for a bonus toy. Come, little ducklings. Daddy's gonna carve you a brother. He says, bad idea written all over it. Really? Must be tiny writing. Good night, little ones. Bruce, let's hope that beat guard helps your snoring. <coughs> Gary, it's not polite to eat worms in bed. Good night, Craig. Sweet dreams, little ones. Prepare yourself for a long night, Cricket. All throughout the night, Gelato poured his love into this new and very special wood carving.
He just winked at me. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! Whoa! Oh, oh, this is great! Hey, wait, come back! Come back! Come back! Come back! Come back! Woo! Woo-hoo! Silly boy, why don't you just stay still? You're not the boss of me. I don't have to listen to anybody. I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. You're not like the other toys, are you? Never heard of toys. I will call you Pistachio, after the wood from which you were made. Nobody made me. I'm out of here. Well, hold your horses, Pistachio. You're a part of the family now. I'm your father, Gelato. Never heard of a father. Why, a father is the one who'll teach you how to live, how to be happy. I don't need any lessons. I can find happiness without anybody's help. Oh, Pistachio, you need to listen to those who love you the most, your parents. Why should I listen to my parents? I want what's best for me. Because you are too young to know what is best for you, Pistachio. Trust me, I was a boy once too. Tomorrow, we'll take a field trip for your first lesson in life. But for now, we must sleep. Well, okay. I guess we can try it your way. For now. That's my log, uh, boy. Good night, Cricket. I am a caterpillar. Good night, Pistachio. You will see. Gelato is a good father. He has learned great things from his own father. And you will learn those things from him. If you will listen. Well, if I don't, I'm not hanging around a bunch of ducks. A team. What? It's not a bunch of ducks. It is a team of ducks. Like a gaggle of geese or a herd of cattle. Never heard of cattle. Oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. So Gelato took his ducklings and pistachio to the art museum, where he would use the paintings to teach a very important lesson. Just pictures? Boring. You'll see, pistachio. There's nothing like art to help you find your way. Hey, art! Aye! What's up, Gelato? Which way to the sheep paintings? Down and to the left, past the prodigal. Thanks, art. <laughs> Gary! You should have gone before we left home. <laughs> now, here's what I really wanted to show you. Sheep! Never heard of sheep. It's a flock of sheep. You're thinking of cattle. It was the shepherd's job to take care of 100 sheep. One sheep ran away and got lost. Even though there were still 99 more, the shepherd left the 99 to go off into a storm in search of that one lost sheep. Why would he do that? Well, because he was a good shepherd and he loved all the sheep. He didn't want to lose a single one. Why did the little sheep run away? Nobody knows. Maybe a wolf dressed like a sheep talked him into it. Maybe he thought he could find something more fun than following his shepherd. Maybe he thought he knew best. By the time the shepherd found him, he was cold and miserable. He knew he should have listened to the shepherd. Some children act the same way. They foolishly think they know best, that they don't need to listen to their parents. Not me. I'm no fool, no sorry. Nicely put, Cricket. You should sit on my mouth and finish all of my stories. Moralizing runs very deep in my family. <laughs> so much is in one of those art books. And they're only five cents. I'd be happy to go buy it for you. Can I have five cents, huh, can I? Wow, that's great that you've taken an interest in art so soon. But five cents is all the money I have. But it's filled with artwork that we could take home. I thought you wanted your children to learn. I want to learn all I can. Hey, don't look at me. I cannot even lift a penny. So Gelato gave Pistachio his five pennies to buy the book, but made him promise to go straight there and then come right back. Oh, I promise. The moment he lied, something <laughs> strange happened to Pistachio's nose. But we'll get to that later. Hmm, growing boy. Okay, now, who can tell me the population of Luxembourg? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, cool. 
close, Greg, but you forgot the suburbs. Come young, come all to my puppets down the hall To the fun that you're not supposed to have I'll do some impressions but there will be boring lessons Like the ones that you get from your dad as a tickle. Sorry, tickets cost a nickel, a small price to pay to be glad. So come see my talents. Abandon your parents. It's fun and no strings attached. <gasps> no strings? Huh? <gasps> Amazing! A puppet with no strings! <laughs> if you were in the show, I'd be rich! Picture people paying golden coins to watch this little boy As he sings for them and dances as the world's the stringless toy It's so genius just between us, everyone will cry encore! Boy, it's no time to be modest, for the world will soon applaud us Yay! Look at what you brought us, Thing, is it? 
Spin away! Come on, Big Ten! Zero? Whoops! Uh -huh. That almost never happens! Oh, you lose. Looks like this one's mine. Who's? That wasn't supposed to happen. Aw, I'm sure you'll win it back in the next game. Really? Of course. Why would we steal you wrong? Field trips always make me hungry. Who wants a corn dog? <laughs> One, two, three, uh... Uh-oh. Uh, gelato? Hey, one of my ducklings is missing. You mean pistachio. <gasps> pistachio? What happened to pistachio? I have no idea. But it is not that bad. You still have got three other ducklings. Pick it. Caterpillar. Remember the painting of the lost sheep? Like any good shepherd, I love all my children the same. That means you. And Pistachio, too. I won't rest until we're all home, no matter what. Better make that corn dog to go. So Gelato went off in search of his little lost duckling, a wooden boy, while something entirely less noble was going on at the carnival. Lose again! Two in a row! Again? I give up. I think it's probably best to just go home. Wait! You still have three gold coins! But... You're on your own. Can't give up. There's three more coins. Better luck if you return to your father empty handed. You'll only disappoint and then be reprimanded. You must show. Pistachio, you and you 
alone are not enough. Rainbow of Fortune. That's kind of scary. Being on your own can be quite scary. But isn't that what you wanted? I thought it was. Oh well, Jolot has probably already forgotten about you. I bet he's got other kids that listen. How do you play? Oh, simple, really. You sit in this car and advance up the ramp every time you answer a question correctly. The higher up you go, the more you win. You can stop whenever you want and walk away with the money. But if you choose to answer a question and get it wrong, well, you lose everything. All right. <laughs> For ten gold coins, here is question number one. In the story of the lost sheep, how many sheep ran away? Hey, I know this. Just one. What? Oh, but <laughs> that, that is correct. You, uh, win ten gold coins. But if you continue to the next question, you could win a hundred gold coins. A hundred gold coins? Of course, you risk losing the ten. Do you want question two? Question two! Question two! All righty then. For a hundred gold coins, here is question number two. In the story of the lost sheep, why did the shepherd leave the 99 to go off and search for the one lost sheep? I can't believe it. I know this one too. Because he was a good shepherd, and he loved all his sheep. C correct. You, you've just won a hundred gold coins. Uh, of course, question three is worth a thousand. A thousand? Yes, yes, question three. Where did we get these questions? He knows them. Yes, I know them because Gelato... Who? My father!
Are you the Blue Fairy? It's pronounced Blueberry. What exactly are you doing here? Looking for my dad. We were out at sea. Oh? Why were you out at sea? At that exact moment, Pistachio had a choice to make. He knew that telling the truth was the right thing to do. But if he did, the Blueberry would know that Pistachio was the reason Gelato was lost. So, he lied. Uh, my father is a fisherman, and we were out catching the largest fish you've ever seen. Remember what happened the first time Pistachio lied? <laughs> oh! <gasps> is that really why your father was out at sea? Um, yep, that's the whole truth. What's happening? What am I gonna do? I can't go through life like this. I'll get used for a coat rack. How do I get my nose back to normal? You must listen to your father, Pistachio. What? How do you know my name? Gelato loves you, and he wants what is best for you. You must learn from his teaching, or you will never be happy. Well, if you know so much about me, why don't you just tell me what I should do next? You know what you should do. Listen to your father. Tell the truth. Well, I must go. A good friend needs my help. Au revoir! Don't give up hope! I know! If I can find Gelato's workshop, maybe that cricket will know what to do. <laughs> this is crazy! My nose keeps throwing me off balance! Hey, what do you do? I'm walking here! Sorry! <laughs> oh, for crying out loud! Play well, there, cricket! I am not a cricket! I am a caterpillar! Silly cricket! Huh? Cricket? I am not a pistachio! You are alive! I'm looking for gelato! Me too! That is why I left home all by myself in this big, mean, caterpillar-eating world! I don't eat caterpillars! Good! I hear we are quite tasty! Who's with the ducklings? Oh, a good friend is helping me out. No, I'm a blueberry, but I get that all the time. No, I've never played Monopoly, but I'll give it a go. What is this story with your smeller? My what? Your nose! It looks like a sapling! Oh, it's a long story. Not as long as that hunker sticking out of your face. Cricket, gelato is lost and it's all my fault. Why are you smiling? Gelato would be very pleased. What? Why? Because you are doing what he said. I told you to take responsibility for your mistakes. That means you listened. He would be so proud of you right now. Oh, goody goody gumdrops. Where are you taking us now, horsey? Horsey? No horses. Oh dear. Whoa! inside a big fish. And we're still alive? Oh, you can stay alive inside a fish for two or three days. Trust me, I know. Help me look for some angels. Wait, I hear something. It sounds like music. That does not sound like angel music. It sounds... Italian! We 
we should have listened to what Mama told us. When it was bedtime, she'd cuddle and hold us. And say, boys, please remember your poor Uncle Clark. Never take meatballs to see after dark. They look a little like tomato. Yeah, I'd say more Brando or De Niro. Wait a second. We have found Gelato's long lost brothers. Mamma mia. A sorry old uncle set out with the meatball. Rolling the stormy seas just after nightfall. And so he discovered this fact so infernal. Great fish that love meatballs are also nocturnal. But we didn't listen for pride or for spite. We set out a rowing with meatballs at night. And just like our uncle, oh God rest his soul, for want of our meatballs, a fish ate us whole. It makes me miss my father even more. Don't you get me crying. So, so children, please listen to your dads and mamas as they tuck you in, in your footy pajamas. Their wisdom will save you from trouble, no question. A waking up inside a fishy's intestine. We're sorry, Mama, that we didn't listen. Our hearts are now heavy, our faces they glisten. With tears of regret for our pride and our spite. And that we took meatballs to see in the night. Gelato! What, huh? Who said my name? Father? Pistachio? Father! Pistachio! Cricket! Your nose! Oh, Dad! They spent the five cents and I went and I tried to win more money than I lost and I almost drowned and then I lied and I almost crashed because there was no horsey till I got eaten by this fish! All true. I am so, 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 so sorry! It's okay, Pistachio. Who's with the ducklings? They're in good hands. Oh, the park place with the hotel. That's fifteen hundred dollars, please. <laughs> I prayed that I would find you again someday. So did I. Hey, we're starving here. Let's eat. Oh, I almost forgot. Pistachio, Cricket, these are my brothers. How have you stayed alive all these years? Ah, this fish. It swallowed our delivery boat filled with meatballs. He loves eating Italian. Including us. Uh, it's not so bad, really. While we try to get home, we eat and we sing. And sing and eat. You know what I'm saying? I bet you do. I bet you know what I'm saying. And we got loads of oil for the lamps. Keeps the mood lighting going, you know? Hmm. We gotta do something about that nose. That's why I always say, never leave home without your tools. I have never heard you say that. I always say it starting now. Whoa. more for your life than this. I wanted zoo trips and juggling lessons and... Hey, we could always eat the castor oil. What are you, nuts? Castor oil makes you throw up. Forget about it. At that moment, Pistachio had an idea that could save them all. Hey, everybody, if we could open and dump all these barrels of castor oil, then maybe the fish will throw up. Quick, roll all the barrels down here where my father's tools are. Wait. The crow's nest. If we drop the barrels from that height, they'll break and splash all over his stomach. I don't know. I think the barrels are too strong to break. Pistachio. Dad, I know wood. I am wood. Yes, but I made you. Try.
trust me. It was the moment of truth. Pistachio had to choose between what he thought was best and what his father knew was best. Okay, Dad. He chose wisely, and he listened. Here we go! Hey, it's not working. I really thought it would work. And now we got no food, and just a little oil in the lamp! Oh, oh, great, see that? Now we're in the dark. Wow, someone's really hungry. Was that your stomach, Espresso? That was not my stomach. Hey, Dorito. Hey, it wasn't me. Wait, could that be? Here we go! Somebody, pick up the cricket! I thought you were a caterpillar! Whatever! Hold me! <gasps> that was disgusting! I smell like linguine with clam sauce! Hey, and meatballs! Good thinking, Pistachio. You're a great listener. Thanks, Dad. Well, now what do we do? We are in the middle of the ocean. Still got your tools? Always. Let's build a raft. We can use the canvas for a sail. Just tell me what to do, Dad. I promise I'll listen closely. Look at this guy. Ah, what a bright boy. So instead of Pistachio getting his own way, he got something even better. He became part of a real family. And it was all because he listened to his father. Wow, Dad. I love it. It's from the museum gift shop. Happy birthday, Pistachio. And so Gelato, Pistachio, all his brother Ducklings, and Cricket... Caterpillar! You are my hero. Live happily ever after. A mother and a father know the ways to live life right.